Hey, what's good, Power People? This is the Power Living with Purpose podcast with David C. Henderson, and this is the health tip of the week. The potential lifelong problems from student skipping grades, part one. This week's tip is sponsored by DCH Merch, a website. Uh, that website is dchmerch.com, where you will find shirts and hoodies such as Make Tuskegee Great Again, Living for God is Dope, Will Work for God, and many others. And for those Make Tuskegee Great Again shirts, 10% of all profits are donated to the Tuskegee Area Chamber of Commerce. All right. So as we start a new school year, uh, I can only think about how many parents will be presented with the idea of their child being able to skip a grade because the school has noted that their academic ac uh, ability seems to be far above the rest of their classmates. Well, for parents of students in private schools, this could mean hmm, one year less of them having to pay tuition before they go to college. And the motivation could be financial. And for parents of uh, students in both private and public school, it would mean that their child would be going to college one year sooner than normal. However, I don't think that's the primary motivation. No, I strongly believe that the major reason that most parents allow their child to skip a grade when they are presented with the opportunity is because they believe it will make them look like a super parent amongst their friends, amongst their family and society. Hey, did you hear my child skipped a grade? He's going to be a doctor or a lawyer at the age of 24 instead of 25. Uh, he's going to, my, my child skipped two grades. Hey, he's going, he's going to be a doctor at the age of 23 instead of 25 or 26 um who cares okay so anyway so having a child that has skipped a grade can be seen as a badge of honor and maybe a reason for a family to boast and feel super proud well if i didn't know any better from my own personal experience and from others i might tend to think Maybe that's a good idea. However, I can assure you, it is a terrible idea. And I, there is not much benefit at all, especially since what we now know uh, from studies that show that the prefrontal cortex of the brain that's responsible for making a lot of the uh, ma brain major decisions doesn't even finish fully developing until age 25, which means teens and younger, adu younger adults are already naturally prone to making less intelligent decisions before the age of 25, especially with all the non-beneficial influences that today's children are exposed to due to technology. Therefore, it's sad, but in these situations, one of the single most important factors of a child's development is the one that is seemingly ignored in the case of skipping a grade, uh, especially now that we know that ACEs, adverse childhood experiences, can cause lifelong mental trauma. That extre extremely important factor is the mental and social well-being of that child during all the years between Head Start or Pre-K and 12th grade, and then even also in college and professional school. Personally, I was allowed to skip the first grade, and that one decision that was made when I was six years old, even though it was probably made with good intentions, ended up having a tremendously negative effect on me both mentally and socially for the next 15 years of school until I graduated from college uh, at age 21. I ended up doing, it ended up taking me five years of college, so I did end up graduating still at 21. But, and it still has a little bit of lingering effects uh, uh, to, uh, with me today. Allow me to explain. All right. Number one, skipping a child automatically creates a one to two year age difference between them and their classmates, depending on when everybody's birthday is and what time of year it is. I was born in August. So I was one of the young, already one of the youngest in my class. So now I'm extra young. All right. So based on those cutoff dates. Now, when there are some students who had to repeat a grade and also had a late fall birthday, you could actually have a three year difference among students in that same grade between the one who was skipped and the one who had to repeat. Now, this can be very awkward, but it can also be dangerous to the younger student in terms of bullying and also very problematic in illegal dating. So it, you, you're two or three grades apart, but you're the same age. You're one grade apart, but you're three years. You want, you're in the same grade, but you're three years apart. It, it can cause a lot of um, 
Uh, just a lot of problems. Now, also, every year from head start to high school graduation, especially the teenage years, the differences between students from year to year become more and more dramatic. While we might not be as worried about a six-year-old first grader in there with seven and eight year olds that age difference can become very problematic within a few years in middle school that child's classmates may be 11 to 13 years old while they're still 10 years old going on 11 and that's a huge difference between a 10 year old and a 12 or 13 year old in high school that child's classmates may be 14 to 16 while they're still 13 again huge difference now lastly upon high school graduation most of the students who go off to college are normally 18 or have turned 19 they mostly have turned 19 and have however a skip student like me actually hit my college campus at the age of 16 um i did i turned 17 during my freshman year but i was 16 when i got there I also personally know somebody who skipped two grades. So they were on a college campus and surrounded by everyone ages 19 and up when they were only 15 years old, not even old enough to drive, definitely too young to legally date anyone, and also subject to bullying and hazing. And at the end of the day, all of these potential problems are created for what? Just so a child can potentially graduate from college one year early or professional school one year early? All these problems just for that? At the end of a 30 to 40 year career, that one little year is not going to make any difference whatsoever. Not one single bit of difference at all. So, next, so just think about it. All of these potential problems little to no potential advantage it really no potential advantage all right so uh, in the long run now next week i'll talk about how skipping a child is not a financial advantage at all but it's actually a financial liability and can actually end up when parents and students losing out on tens of thousands if not hundreds of thousands of dollars so until then have a safe healthy and blessed week Stay powerful, my friends.